and we're talking about the Beast of Burden exhibition at the Fisher Museum at USC. And it ties into a whole series that I've been working on called Unsustainable Creatures and uses found and recycled plastic materials with LEDs to draw a parallel between animal experience and human experience in the ways that we are tied to our working lives. I'm focusing on domesticated animals in the whole series where they become parallels to us humans and our working lives. The fact that they're lit draws attention to our complete dependence on electricity and on petrochemicals. The materials that I use in the pieces are found, for the most part, in dumpsters and in thrift stores. Friends give me recycled things and tell me about pieces that they find on the street and have me go and collect them. Stuff like plastic bottles, water bottles that are recycled, shampoo bottles, any of the things that you might just toss, I end up reusing. In particular, I've been using materials that are translucent as much as possible so that the lights that I put inside will make them glow with a certain inner life. So the largest piece in the Beast of Burden show is an elephant. It's a life-size Asian female elephant, pretty much an adolescent size. And I made it for a project that I did at the airport at LAX called Packing Caravan. The elephant is made out of a lot of baby bathtubs, a lot of very large bins. specifically for the show are these two hawks that are cartwheeling. It's a courtship ritual that hawks do in the sky to sort of test one another. And I wanted to show the dynamism of that kind of instability. But I was also interested in and am interested in the raptors because they are also domesticated not just in falconry, but they're used in bird eradication efforts. So they're flown through wineries, like drones basically, in eight or nine sorties a day to chase the starlings away. So there's this dichotomy in them that they are tame, but they are wild. And again, it sort of speaks to a metaphor for human experience. parallel exhibition, the Gyre, the Plastic Ocean exhibition, which is at the USC Fisher Museum, is a piece that I made specifically for when the show opened in Alaska. It originated at the Anchorage Museum, and I wanted to make something which was site-specific to the issue of plastics in our environment and an animal that is totally emblematic of, in my view, what the Alaskan experience would be. So their colors, the lights that I used, relate to the aurora borealis, so I wanted to have them in those various hues. And I was really interested in seeing how I could capture the gesture and the personality in each dog to make them look different and yet part of the same species. Most of the drawings that are in the show preceded the sculptures. So they were studies, anatomical studies, gestural studies, trying to figure out what that action might look like. And then incorporating words into them, they become sort of like a visual diary. They become almost like an enlarged sketchbook page where you might put your feelings out into a more private type of message.